So today we're going to be building what's referred to as a car rotisserie and if you think that sounds kind of odd, you're not alone. I had no idea what the heck this thing was until a neighbor of mine approached me one day and asked me to help him build one for his shop. So what this thing does is, uh, is a lot of you guys can probably guess about anyone who's ever seen one of those rotisserie chicken deals at the grocery store. It allows you to spin a car body. So let's say you have an old car you're working on and uh, you know it's got some rust damage. You need to work on the underside of it. Well now all you do is you take this thing and you set it on this rotisserie and it bolts in place really securely and then you, you, you know you balance it and then you're able to just take this thing and with very little force turn it up on its side so the part you need to work on is at eye level and a really comfortable height and everything and uh, like I said I've never seen one of these things before but I was really impressed with it once I saw this thing actually together and functioning which uh, I'll show you some video of at the end of this video and uh, basically the design of this is pretty straightforward. These are some plans my neighbor found on the internet and he spent several days cutting, notching, and grinding this pipe. This is old oil field pipe. He bought it used from a uh, used pipe place, which we actually have quite a few of here in Texas. And uh, he was able to buy this stuff really in inexpensively. It only took uh, Seth and I like a day or two approximately to put together. I filmed this a couple weeks ago and I'm just now getting around to edit it. But it uh, went together really well and I hope you guys will enjoy this video. So let's make us one awesome car rotisserie and enjoy the show. This is going to be a world record for the destruction of a 15 16 head bull. Alright! It's stripped. We did something. Ooh. Yeah, it's stripped. It's stripped? Yeah. Well, it's out. <laughs> So here's a little tip that I just recently picked up. Anytime you have to attach a plate like this to something that's round, you know, there's there's a couple ways you can do it. You can just sort of reach in here and weld, but that's not, it doesn't give you the best attachment and it puts a lot of heat into the material and it's a really hard joint to weld properly. So the easy way to do this is to take a uh, strip of flat stock. This is just something off my CNC table and we're just gonna rest it in here like that. We'll cut it so it's only about that long or so maybe two, three inches, and you just weld here, you just weld here, it's really strong, it's really clean, and it's really fast. Look away!
Go ahead. Oh, hold on, man. Let me get it. Go ahead. Oh, that's that's. Oh, hold on. Yeah, that's it. Oh, Ooh, that was really tough. Go. You want know, another one? Yeah. All right. Wait a minute. Let's hold it right there. That's good? Yep. Okay. Good. We're good. All right. That's not going anywhere now. Don't you want to rotate Dumpy? <laughs> oh, that'd be so bad. That'd be so bad. Oh, that is so cool. Got some rest. Yep. No, he balanced it really well. Yeah. See if you can keep going. Okay. Oh, yes. Good, yeah, don't let it get away from you, though. All right, that's probably good. Yeah, that's probably good. <laughs> oh, we'll yeah. leave it sitting like horizontal because I think that's how we found it. Well, we found Is it? it sideways okay. the other way. Yeah, let's. So he was working on the underside, I'm assuming. Yeah. That is legit. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah, that, that's yeah, that's, that's good. Let's see that, dude. That's that is cool. That is cool. Wow. Getting her done. Yeah.